What you gonna do? We'll put it away. Lovely, it's back. So Dave, um, quick mention, 71-0. Uh, how did that feel out there today? Yeah, first 20 minutes was tough. They put us on a lot of pressure. Um, you good with the camera? <laughs> um, yeah, they put us under pressure, so credit to them. They, um, they played some good rugby, but we found a way into the game, and it's always nice to score some points. So, um, yeah, good feeling. It, was, it seemed like it was a very uh, good forward performance today. You got a few uh, scrum penalties, quite a few, and the defensive line out looked to be working really well. What, what kind of, having that kind of game, how does that, you know, make the squad and the forwards particularly feel? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, the game always starts with the forwards. Uh, you, ha you have to man up up front be physical up front, so we knew that. Um, and if we do our job, it allows the Blacks to score some lovely tries like Henry Arundel did today. So uh, but we'll take the credit deep down, you know, through our hard work, um, you know how it is. Um, but yeah, I know that all week we spoke about being physical as a pack, um, and I think we showed that today. I mean, I've, you mentioned it, but I've got to ask, you know, how you know, impressive was that performance from Henry and what was the atmosphere, you know, and what were people saying to him after those five tries? So that's not normal that you score five tries in a game. No, I think in the World Cup debut, it's, um, it might be a decent stat out there, five tries in your debuts. Um, no, so fair credit to him, he's been, he's been training brilliantly every week, um, got, got his chance today and he took it, and fair play to him. Um, but I think the whole, the whole squad has been, the whole squad's been brilliant. Um, so obviously, you know, defensively, no tr points, no tries scored. Um, how does that kind of give you a mental boost going into Samoa and then, you know, hopefully you seem on the cusp now of the, of the knockouts, what, what kind of that what does that bring to the squad having achieved that? Yeah, that, that was massive for us. It's something we spoke a lot about at half time and before the game, obviously. You know, we pride ourselves on defence. Uh, I know in the build up, it might not have looked like that at times, but we've been working incredibly hard throughout um, with Kev. Uh, and we, our defence has come on leaps and bounds. And I think you could see that everyone's fighting for each other with five minutes off our line, not wanting to concede. Um, it shows real pride in the squad that we have. Um, so yeah, it's obviously great that they didn't score any points, you know, we take a lot of confidence from that and um, move into Chile week, uh, move into some over week, sorry, should I say. So you've got a week off now, does that mean it's a little bit more celebrations tonight? You know, how, how you, do you have a few days off? What's, what's going on in the next few days for you guys? Uh, not so many celebrations, um, recovery, rest up. We've, we've got a few days off, which would be nice just to rest the bodies um, and we're straight back to it uh, on Wednesday. So yeah have a little bit of downtime, which would be really nice. Um, getting away with our partners and stuff, which would be good. But um, yeah, straight back to work then. And, and just to finally, a quick note, uh, uh, it's a bit closer here to England than you were in Marseille. Uh, how were the fans tonight? What was it like? No, it was brilliant. Um, they've been brilliant all along. Um, yeah, every place we played at, it's, it's felt like we played at home, really. You just see white shirts everywhere in the crowd. You hear them through the anthem and singing along. And it's, it's been really brilliant. You feel the buzz growing slowly every game, they're getting more excitement and uh, today they're brilliant. Um, yeah, hopefully they enjoyed the performance. Thanks so much. Cheers, thank you. Yeah.